What up guys, we're back out here on the channel working on the US Air Force cab over. Um, and today we're going to be getting it all pressure washed up, cleaned up, and getting it pulled into the shop so we can start uh, doing some diagnosing and tearing into it. Um, huge shout out to all you guys that linked us up with Bus Monkey Garage, um, Bus Grease Monkey Garage. We're going to be working with them on doing some stuff with the engine. Uh, we'll be talking later on this evening to get, work out all the details. But uh, anyways, we're going to get this thing all pressure washed up, get the uh, frame all cleaned up, get these tires and wheels off of it and stuff like that. And then we're going to get her backed in the shop and uh, go from there. So guys, I got the other International's cab jacked up and we blocked it. But I put the jack off that one on here and changed out a couple lines and it's not wanting to jack up. So I'm assuming maybe the lift cylinders for the cab are bad. Thankfully that one has good lift cylinders on it. But for now, we're just going to go and get it pressure washed the outside of the truck. Um, get it backed in there and start going over a few things with you guys and, uh, and uh, going from there. I do have a ton of history on this truck, tons of pictures people have sent us. So we'll be going over that too. So look forward to that. We can see where the truck was used way back in the day okay guys we got the air force truck pulled inside brad's up here chilling and uh you can see we kind of got it clean but it needs to be buffed out and stuff like that but we've been talking and i need you guys to go vote on the community tab on this truck yes it's kind of got an okay wheelbase right now it's like 200 what do we say it was here grab that baby again here we go we're gonna go to the front there it's got a 208 inch wheelbase right now. This is a factory wheelbase. And the reason it's stretched a little bit was because this truck used to have a big diesel generator that sat right here and it ran a big trailer they used for Air Force recruiting and stuff like that that was hooked to the back of this truck. Um, that's why you see that hose right there and that's why there's no fuel tank on that side. Um, so that's why it's a little bit stretched compared to our truck we've got right here. So what was the wheelbase on this one, Brad? I forgot already. So we got 208 right there. And we've got 183 inch wheelbase on this truck. But something that's weird about internationals, if you guys don't know, and I've learned, is you can see the frame thickness right here at the back is 10 inches, which is basically your standard on most semis, okay? But you come up here to the center, you can see it's much wider. It's like four, it's 14 inches. The problem with that is, is if you ever want to stretch these trucks, it's almost impossible to find 14 inch um, C-channel frame rail to bolt right up. Um, so it makes it hard. But on the way home, um, you guys know this thing only does like 60, 65 downhill with the wind pushing it um, because it's got 390 gears in these rear axles here. And the wheel seals on both sides of these axles are leaking. The brake lines are trash. Like everything is so old. Even the canisters up there are old style. Um, so what I was going to end up doing was swapping the axles out of the International. And putting them into there. But I'm sitting here thinking, you know, we're going to swap the axles. All kinds of stuff. And it's just going to be such a hassle. And we're still going to have, you know, older style leaf springs. These leaf springs are a lot bigger and heavier duty. We've already done everything to these axles, hub seals, the whole nine yards. You guys remember everything we've done to this truck. Drums, shoes, all of it, airlines, and all these airlines would have to be unbolted from the frame and swapped. So instead of swapping the axles on these trucks, the frame gets goes from 10 inches up here to 14 inches right about here, which is where the cab would normally sit down on this truck. And we're, we're using the white truck for parts. You guys already know that. Tires and wheels are going over to it, like literally everything. So the frame gets wide right here at 14 inches right there. And we've measured it. It goes from 10 inches to 14 inches and it stays at 14 inches for right around, 14 inches tall for right around 42 inches long. So if we were to cut the frame right here where it's long, instead of swapping the rears out to swap this whole frame over to that one. So we cut it right here you gonna follow how it's gonna be hard to follow guys we're gonna cut it right here right where the 14 inch thick uh height of the frame starts and we're gonna come over here to this truck right here the air force truck and we're gonna make a big cut right here where it goes from 14 inches to 10 inches we're gonna cut that frame right in half or we're gonna you know z cut it whatever and get rid of this whole rear section off the truck we're not gonna use it anymore the wheels are not using nothing and weld our new frame section off the old white truck to that one. And that will essentially add 42 to 43 inches of wheelbase 
So, Bradford, you wanna know, do the duties and go to the front axle on that one again? So if we add 42 inches of wheelbase, we'll have a 250 inch wheelbase cab over. Cause we're at 208 there. And we stretch her out to right here. So that's gonna give us basically three and a half foot of stretch and everything will be swapped out. All you gotta do is get some longer air lines and that's it and extend the light, the wires to the lights and not much. So really I feel like we could swap this frame out in a day, start to finish, if we went hard. Maybe not have airlines on it and all that, but have this one completely gutted, everything off of it, the fuel tank, stuff like that, and get this frame off of here. We're probably gonna sell the cab and get it swapped over to this one, get this one cut off. So go to the community tab, vote guys. Option one, we leave it how it is, swap the rear axles out and don't do anything with it. And you can see where people have welded, they've welded like a pedal hitch that was on here at one point and uh, filled it in with a lot of rod. Or we go with option two, and we cut the frame from the International in half, cut this one in half, and add almost four foot of stretch to that truck. Um, and also, let me know if you guys think, do we stick with the small fuel tank, like what's on that truck, and get another one to match it? Or we go with these bigger tanks, and I'll probably have someone um, repair this fuel tank where it's dented on the back, because you know we want to do it right this time. So think about that. The only difference with that is, is if we keep these longer fuel tanks, it look like we really kind of didn't stretch it that much. So I don't know. But option one, leave it how it is. Swap the rears, brakes, and all that stuff and make it ready to go. Or option two, stretch it and just go for it and um, have a longer wheelbase truck, a 250 inch wheelbase truck. I don't know what the wheelbase is on a Freightliner. We're about to go pick the Freightliner up and the painted uh, trailer. My buddy Lake over at OMG, it's Lake, his YouTube channel. He painted it for us after we got it uh, sandblasted. So. We're gonna haul butt over there before it gets too dark and we'll measure the Freightliner's wheelbase. Um, it may be two, 250 inches also. So, something about, go vote. So me out of here at Chaz's house, guys. The trailer's over there, we'll go look at it in a second. But we're gonna measure the wheelbase on this truck and see what it's at. Hold it right in the center of that rim there, home biscuit. This one's 250, 251. Dang, so if we stretch that other truck, the Air Force truck will be the same length as this. Like the exact same wheelbase. That would be sick. Alright, let's get this thing hooked up to the trailer. Now here in the yard. Alright, so here it is, guys. Shout out to Lake. Go check him out. OMG, it's Lake on YouTube. He got it all painted for us on the outside. There's a couple spots we got to hit on the inside of the trailer, but he did a pretty solid job for his first time using a paint gun. So let's get the truck backed up to it. Damn, this is going to be a mother to get out. We'll figure it out. We made it back to the shop with the trailer, and you can see some of the spots in here we've got to um, hit with some more paint right inside here and up on top, stuff like that. So tomorrow we're gonna try to get out here, we're gonna paint some of it some more, I guess. So get out here and get some more of it painted up and uh, get it ready for wood and stuff. Hopefully we'll have wood on it by like Tuesday. Shouldn't be a problem. We got some new tires coming for us, some new Alcoa wheels from bytruckwheels.com and uh, get some new lights and we're gonna get the brakes checked out, make sure there's oil in the axles and the trailer will be done. There's no reason we can't have this thing done and out of the way by Wednesday, so that's the goals. We are working on, I'm working with uh, Bus Grease Monkey Garage. So I've been talking to those guys. They're gonna come out like sometime in May. We're gonna do some engine work on the Air Force truck and stuff like that. But go vote. Option one, we leave it the way it is. Option two, we stretch it. It'll be the exact same wheelbase as the Freightliner. So let me know, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll catch you later.